Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. On day number 111, about four days ago, we begin the topic of work time problems. Work time problems will make a series of 15 videos. Today is our fourth one in the series of 15. And today is our lesson number 114. The problem for the problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says A can assemble 8 units in one hour. B can assemble 12 units in one hour. A can assemble 8 units in one hour, B can assemble 12 units. Question simply is how long will it take them working together if they were to assemble 150 units? If they were to assemble 150 units. As you can see, it's a quite straightforward simple problem. Just give me one second. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I need to take care of something. So how long will it take them to assemble 150 units? Let's take a look at it. This guy can do 8 units in one hour. The other guy can get 12 units in one hour, which means together, together they make 20 units in one hour. If they make 20 units in one hour, that in turn implies that in, that in turn implies that they must, they must make 500 units in 5 hours. 500 units, not 100 units. Or rather 100 units. They, they must make 100 units in 5 hours. That's essentially 5 times this amount, 5 times that amount. 5 times 20 is... If you, they make 5 times as many units in 5 times the amount of work. They must make 100 units in... Five hours. I don't know why I'm making such a first. But we are not interested in 100 units. The question here is how long will it take them to make 150 units? Well, if 100 units takes five hours, then other 50 units, other 50 units should take half as much, two and a half hours. That's it. We are done. Therefore, they will make 150 units in seven and a half hours. That's it. We are done. So that's one way of solving the problem. And the way we could have solved the problem is there are several different ways where we're going to take just take a look. We're just going to take a look at two of them. Another way to solve another way we could have solved this problem is to do the, is to do this problem in a more of a traditional way, which is to set it up as a proportion problem. Once we know that they are making 20 units in one hour, we could have set it up as a proportion problem as units in hours, and we know they make 20 units in one hour. 20 units in one hour. The question is. How long will it take them? How long will it take them to make 150 units? And then simply solve for x. 20x equals 150. Let's continue here. Multiply. As a matter of fact, we can we can divide both sides by two. There you go. We can divide both sides by 10, and zero drops out. So 2x equals 15. 2x equals 15, and there you go. X equals seven and a half. Either method. Either method. It's pretty straightforward. Very simple. It's it, if it appears in the in the question, something like this. It will appear as an easy question, regardless of which exam you're preparing for. It will not qualify as a medium or a hard question. Let's take a look at one more problem. Let's take a, let's take a look at next problem. Next problem tells us that A can do a job. A can do a job. We are told that A can do a job in eight hours. We are told that B can do the same job in twelve hours. A can do the job in eight hours, B can do the same job in twelve hours, we are told. Question simply is how long how long together? And of course this is not how the problem will appear in the exam as you as you as you as you very well know. I'm just giving you the nub of the problem. I'm just giving you the gist of the problem. In the exam, of course, it has to it has to be worded in a little bit more sophisticated way. How long will it take these two working together at their respective paces, at their respective constant paces, uh, to finish the job together? That's something something to that effect. Let's take a look at it. Let's first look at the let's first take a look at the answer choices that we have in front of us. We have A, B, C, D, and E. We have four hours, four hours and thirty minutes. We have four hours and 
36 minutes, 4 hours and 48 minutes, and finally 5 hours. One more time, 4 hours, 4 hours and 30 minutes, 4 hours and 36 minutes, 4 hours and 48 minutes, and finally 5 hours. What I want you to do is pause the video at this point, solve the problem yourself. Once you have done it, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do, toge will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay. Well, first thing first, in a work problem, in a work, work problem, first thing first, in a work problem, it's always a good idea first, uh, for right off the bat, to get rid of the, to get rid of the silly answers, nonsensical answers, idiotic answers. For example, this guy takes eight, eight hours to do the job, this guy takes 12 hours to do the job. If they were both, if they both were to work as fast as the fast guy, fast guy can do the job, half the job, fast guy can do half the job in four hours, if this guy, second guy, if B were to work as fast as A, if B were to work as fast as A, together they could have done the job in four hours. Obviously B is not working as fast as A, which means the amount of time that they will take together to finish the job cannot possibly be anything less than four or equal to four. Four hours is how long it will take. It would have taken another. Not how it would take. Four hours is how long it would have taken had both of them been working at the same pace of being able to finish the job in eight hours by themselves. That is not the case here, which means it has to be something more than four hours. If you find, find an answer choice which is less than four or equal to four, that's a nonsensical answer. A cannot be right answer. It is just too silly. Similarly, the argument can be made in reverse. Conversely, if B, rather if A, if A were to work as slow as B, B takes 12 hours. In other words, B can do half the job in 6 hours. If all of a sudden, if A were to work as slowly as B does, A, could, A would also take 6 hours to finish the job. In other words, if both of them were to work at a slower pace, the job will take 6 hours. That tells us that if there is a, that, that tells us that to get working together, they cannot possibly take six hours or more because one of the guys working actually faster, which means the amount of time they will take together can never be more than six hours, can never be equal to six hours. Let's see if there are any answer choices we can knock out, any answer choice that is more than six or equal to six. If you find an answer choice that is more than six or equal to six, it's just a silly answer. Well, there are no answer choices more than or equal to six. Let's begin the work. We have eight hours and 12 hours. Let's find the LCM. Let's find the LCM of 8 and 12. 8 and 12 divide by 4, we get 2 and a 3 and that's it, we're done. Now they have no, no common factor. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, which makes perfect sense. The least common multiplier that we can find, the least, is 24. Of course, 48 would do the job, 48, we can divide 48 evenly by 8 and we can divide 48 by 12 evenly. 480 would do the job and so would 48 million but that would be silly because that will just create more work the smallest number that we can think of the smallest number the least number that we can think of that is easily evenly divisible by both 8 and 12 is 24 is 4 times 2 times 8 which is 24 24 is the magic number here we will ask ourselves how much work they can do working by themselves in 24 hours in 24 hours, in 24 hours, A can do, A can do how many jobs? A takes 8 hours to do the job, which means in 24 hours, he can do 3 jobs. Similarly, working by himself, this is by the, working by themselves. In 24 hours, B can do, or B takes 12 hours. So if he takes 12 hours to do the job, and if you give him 24 hours, he would do 2 jobs which means that tells us that together together they can do five jobs in 24 hours together they can do five jobs 3 plus 2 is 5 jobs in 24 hours but if they can do five jobs in 24 hours that implies they, sh they should be able to do one job they should be able to do one job in 24 over 5 24 over 5. That's it. We are almost done. 
20, 4 over 5 is going to boil down to 4, and 4 fives are 20, we'll have 4 remainder, 4 and 4 fifths. Answer choice is not, not these, are, these are hours. These are hours. Answer choices, not, answer choices are not presented in hours. Answer choices are presented as a combination of hours and minutes. So now we have to figure out how many minutes is 4 fifths of an hour. Well, that's very simple. 4 fifths of an hour, 4 fifths of an hour, it's simply there are 60 minutes in one hour. I don't know why I'm making so silly. It's just 4 fifths times 60, and 5 is going to go into 60 12 times, and 4 times 12 is 48. Of course it is. Um, as I said, I'm just being silly here. Of course, we know that a fifth of an hour, a fifth of an hour is 12 minutes, because 12 fives are, 12 fives are 60. There are 60 minutes in an hour. A fifth of an hour is 12 minutes. Therefore, 4 fifths of an hour would be 12 times 4, as we can clearly see here, 12 times 4, 48 minutes, right here. The answer is D. They will be able to finish the job working together in 4 hours and 48 minutes. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.